First tonight, a final farewell. A community remembers the life of a woman killed in an apartment fire. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. A difficult night for those mourning the loss of Joyce Charles. The Wilmington woman was not able to escape the flames as they engulfed her apartment. Rescue efforts landed some in the hospital where they remain tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed spoke to family members this evening in Wilmington. Still reeling in shock, friends and family gathered to celebrate Mrs. Charles and the impact she had on those around her. A difficult day as loved ones mourn the tragic death of Joyce Charles and simultaneously celebrate her life. It's hard, man, losing somebody like that. Joyce had a heart. If you knew her, you would love her because she had a heart of gold. Charles was wheelchair bound and couldn't escape the deadly fire that engulfed her home Wednesday morning. Now sharing the same day of death as her father, Thanksgiving Eve. Now to always remember father and daughter. She always gonna be here with us. I tried to call her this morning, but she didn't answer her phone. I'm done. Heartbroken. Family members are holding on to fond memories this holiday weekend. Charles family, I love y'all. I wake up every morning thinking you're gonna call me and play this song for me. But it's not gonna happen anymore. But with the grace of God, I will get through this, and I love you, and I will see you again. The former nurse is known for her tough love, but kind heart. We don't have a lot of women like her, or mothers like her, or sisters like her, that help us and talk to us when we're down. And when everybody else judged us, she was good to us. Love you, baby. Love you, love you, love you. An employee from the management company overseeing the residents tried rescuing Mrs. Charles and suffered smoke inhalation. He's currently in the hospital in serious condition. Reporting from Wilmington, Delaware, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News.